We are at the TU Delft Architecture Faculty Corridor in order to present the Project NL City Atlas exhibition. The City Atlas exhibition represents the transformation of the city of Amsterdam through the six emblematic sites, starting from the 16th century until the present moment. The exhibition itself um, is divided into two major parts. The first one documents the archival material that has been used in the, in the production um, of the exhibition, and you can see it on, the, uh, on this side, uh, represented in four glass boxes. The other side of the exhibition represents the unfolding of the physical atlas, which is the result of the semester's long work. So, on the one side of the exhibition, you can see in these four glass boxes the overlay of archival material that we use in order to produce later the synthetic drawings. The first glass box contains the Loman Atlas, which is uh, an historical map of Amsterdam of 1876, overlaid with a plexiglass sheet that represents the contemporary city of Amsterdam with the outline of the six emblematic sites. The rest of the three boxes contain um, an overlay of the plexiglass sheets that are representing the transformation of three selected sites that um, represent the way that we have used these archival sources to study the sites. On the wall, the exhibition presents the unfolding of the atlas itself. Um, Apart from the three vitrines uh, in which we can see the urban transformation through the six emblematic sites, there is also a base map uh, which traces the, these sites um, and represents them all together in one large map of the present day city of Amsterdam. Um, another document is a, is a glossary that we've used for the terms uh, that are used for each uh, site and are site specific therefore. There is also a transcript of the digital presentation um, which um, represents the way that we work with the archival material and the digital tools that have been used to, to uh, represent the information. And with this, we welcome you to the exhibition. The first site of the City Atlas is the neighborhood of Ullenberg and Mach, constructed during the late 16th century in the second expansion of the city of Amsterdam. The city atlas depicts transformation drawn in three different scales in three different plates per site. The first scale is one to 1,000. The second scale is one to 200, and then we go to 150. So it's from a bigger scale to, to a zoom in. Yes, so uh, in the example of uh, the first site, which is Eilenberg, we start with the 1 to 1,000 depicting um, transformations that are um, mentioned in plans and policies in city planning. And in the 1 to 200, we zoom into the individual building transformations and the demolitions that occur on the street level. And in the 1 to 50, we zoom into um, the rooms and the building fragments that are mentioned previously in the previous scales. Um, so across the three different scales, we're able to translate the planned transformations in the documents into their impacts in people's daily lives. The second site of City Atlas is Weisselstrat, constructed in the 17th century. In our drawings, through color, we show time, assigning a color to the century content in the drawings was built in. For example, in our first drawing, we can see how the demolition of canal houses built in the 17th century allowed the transformation of Weisselstrad into a metropolitan boulevard, giving space to buildings of a larger scale and a new contemporary transportation system. In this other drawing, we can see how a building along the Weisselstrad has modified only its ground floor facade and interior space in order to accommodate a contemporary commercial activity. The third site of the city atlas is Helmersburg, developed in the late 19th century. The project explores the bridging between the physical and the digital by producing an atlas in both formats simultaneously, mediating between the two different modes of representation. That is why on each drawing there is a digital layer with masks. We had two types of masks which were placed one inside another, one external one with corners and another internal one 
with the yellow fill. And for instance, on our 200 drawing, you can see this outline that leads to one to 1000 drawing and emphasize and shows the position of the building block in its original context. And another one the get with the yellow fill that says C 10 out of 19. And that leads us to another scale, one to 50, and shows the corner building inside the building block. The fourth site of the city atlas is Hout Heavens. It was the first excavated port in Amsterdam in 1876. And uh, another element regarding the digital aspect of the project is this round circle, which indicates the coordinates of specific points inside the site. This means that the drawings are georeferenced using different sources of archival materials and maps and uh, open street map. And uh, because of these coordinates being fixed points, this means that the overlapping of the different sources reveals the historical transformation of each site. Uh, and that in the context of the Hout Havens, uh, when using fixed elements from the surroundings, helped us to understand the transformation from a timber port to a completely renovated residential neighborhood. Uh, and also at the end helped us to understand that there were some attitudes of resemblance between the past and the present, especially regarding the waterfront line and uh, master planning. The fifth site Slotomir was constructing in 1952 as part of the Western Garden City. In all of our drawings, we also include annotations. They are an important addition to link between the archival resources and our synthetic drawings. We will either use them to highlight the most critical historical transformations by providing the sources where we identify them, or we will use them to give more detailed information about the elements that appear on our drawings. Slotermere, since its creation in the 50s, has provided its residents with high quality public spaces. So our research on transformation is mainly focused on those open public spaces. An example of how we use the annotations on our drawing can be found on these trees on the 1 to 200 scale that uh, are drawn based on a plan proposed by the architects of the building blocks. This is an example of how you used these annotations as a reference to the existing material. This is the sixth site, Balmermeer, which was designed as the satellite neighborhood of Amsterdam based upon the Siam principles in the 1960s. Our main focus in these drawings is upon the ground plane and the unrealized proposal. The neighborhood uh, experienced a lot of demographical changes throughout and which led to a hindrance in the decision-making process. That's the reason we chose to focus on the unrealized proposals, which you can see here in the orange color. Mm -hmm. This is also manifested in the title line, which runs across the three drawings and stitches together the three scales. Uh, the title line represents the focus of the transformation that we're portraying in each drawing and it condenses it into, into a brief uh, statement, which is also something that is seen across uh, all the drawing sets presented in this uh, exhibition. Mm -hmm. 